Hello, good morning, welcome back. Um, how's everybody doing today? Good, I hope. Um, yeah, so I left off kind of, uh, kind of a funny video yesterday, but anyway, let's get started on this. Let's have some fun. Um, and just hopefully it'll go well, because you know that is, once you turn on the camera, then everything goes, you know, it goes, it goes where it goes. I don't know. I wish I could find it because it's frustrating when you can't, when it does that. But <laughs> anyway, oh my gosh. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your kind comments. Yeah, I love you. I love you. I really truly do. Getting a drink of water. I seem kind of out of breath, but um, went for a nice walk this morning. Got a little walkabout. Um, and you know my other chores done and now I'm ready to play so without much more fuss let's take a look at this so remember what we're trying to do is extend this piece and keep make it into a cover and um it's a little bit stiff I know it's not funny it was a terrible print I tried to print I had a, a printable and it this paper was horrible did not work well. Anyway, so that's what we're trying to do is create a journal cover with, uh, <clears throat> yeah, because if you are just now joining us, you have no idea what's going on. Joining us, yes, me, all of us. Um, extend it out so that it will be a journal cover and I think kind of chunky and funky. So what we did is expand it with this manila folder did some, uh, put some black around the edges because what I wanted to see here was some black. And then I thought, oh gosh, we need to do the crackle to give that more funky texture. So anyway, that's what we did. And then uh, the crackle of course is white, which it would be nice if it was black, but it's not. And that's okay because we're gonna stain this. But first what we have, or not stain it, but we're gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna create this. So. First, what we need to do is glue on some uh, bits of tissue paper just on this side. I don't think I'm going to do much with the edges, and I'm going to try and stay away from this edge a little bit. We'll see. We may change that. But for the moment, this we don't really need right now. So I'm going to set that aside also and focus on this one because all we're doing is just gluing stuff on. Mud punch. My punch. Not, oh, but, oh great, I can't open it. So, okay, well, yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, sorry about that, I got it open. <laughs> it, um, yeah, I, it takes a little bit longer to dry um, with this, um, with Mod Podge, Mod Podge, but um, I think it's, it's worth it. It's just, you know, you can use white glue, you can use whatever you want. I do like the Uhu glue, like I say, <clears throat> excuse me, but what we're gonna do is glue this on, give it a good dry, and then um, put gesso over the top. So we'll do a little bit of it together because I want you to kind of see how I do the, the layers and get it kind of crunchy. Um, yeah, like that, let me set that over there. Put this over here and Grab a, grab a brush, grab a brush. Um, yeah, and I don't want to get it too, too thick because, um, you know, we don't want the, the cover to be too bulky. So just throw some of this on, kind of scrunch it up, Get some scrunchiness. Nothing too complicated. I did have, um, Actually, I should have left that like that, but mush it down really, really well. There's no um, no real pattern that you have to follow. You just just play with it until you like the texture that you have. Um, did have let's see, I had some of this that was from an old uh, book book cover, and I thought that might be kind of fun along along the edges kind of sticking out so let's put that on there we'll see it'll it changes once you get um 
once you get the gesso on and the, um, you know, the layer, whoops, the layers of paint and things, then, you know, you don't always get the, t the same texture that you had before. So it's not, not a big deal though. So yeah, that was just some um, muslin material um, that I had used on another journal in the spine and didn't like it tore it apart. And then, so I had that cool funkiness about it. Cool funkiness, here's some more of it. And oh, there's just a little strip of that. This though, I want the kind of raggedy shredded edge. Yeah, that's not not doing what I want it to do. There's more, there's more, but wait, there's more. Take these guys over here, throw this guy on here. Stick him there for a minute, oops. Actually, I'm moved, so I'm not reaching over this every single time I'm in my glue to the other side. That makes more sense, Julie. That makes a whole lot more sense. Yeah, so gosh, wow, it's Friday, right? It's almost the weekend. We have the funniest um, schedule because my husband now works, um, he works Tuesday through Saturday. And my goodness, forever, like 30 plus years, we've, it's been different. He's worked um, Monday through Friday. So, yeah, so it's hard for him. I still, I mean, it's been almost a year that he's been on the schedule, and I'm still not used to it. I should be. I really, really should be, but I'm not. I'm not used to it. You know, this will be kind of nice having this muslin here because when I go to put the um, closures on, I think I'm just going to do rivets in here and tie them. I don't know why it's being a booger right there, but... It's probably the gesso under here. Stay, stay. Um, yeah, so I think that'll be kind of cool to have that extra muslin along that edge. I'm tearing a little bit more. Sorry if I'm out of frame here. I don't want it to tear for me. Take some of the thickness out for the upper edge. I can always trim these bits off. It doesn't really matter. Let's do it like that. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. Any Anything that you have that just has a little bit of texture and um, just layer it on. I don't want to get too much over on this side because that's where we're going to attach these together. So I don't want it too bulky over there. So I might, might not, it's not tearing really well for me. So I'm just gonna nip that off right there. Cause I don't want that there. Don't want it in that space. Not thick anyway. I don't mind having something up along this edge, but not something thick right there. So we still have this right here. Come on, some glue in there. There we go. Just random, see how it's just kind of building up some texture? Some book pages here, that on there. Anything that you have just laying around in your scrap bin, that's kind of what I use. Just little bits of scrap. And it helps to kind of just make this a little tougher. The Mod Podge does, I have to say, it does make it quite a bit stiffer than if you were using a matte. Uh, medium, but it works all the same. Go down there, soak up, soak up. Find your space, find your spot. Oh, here comes Tycoon, can you hear him snuffling and snorting? How is the sunshine, buddy? I would show him, let him say hi, but um, that would be, that'd be hard. That would be hard for me to move the camera around. There we go. So he and Ozzy were outside laying in the sun. It was freezing cold again this morning. Um, I know I, I, I'm kind of all over the map talking here, but um, it was really cold this morning. 25 again this morning. 
And now the sun is out and it's already, well, you know, I think it's 37. <laughs> it's like 37 instead of 24. So that's good. That makes it nice. So the boys were out there soaking up the sun, just wandering around. Um, yeah, oh, so some cardboard. And I like to just kind of split it off when I'm doing texture, I do quite a bit of shredding. And because I don't want it super thick, I mush it down quite a bit too. So let's do that one like that. Let's do, how's this one? Maybe like that, yeah. Maybe like that. Yeah, I like that side. Um, that's going to take forever to dry. Uh, like that. There we go. It's not quite as nice as the um, matte medium for sticking, but it's okay. It's okay. There we go. That guy there. Um, another bit of... See, this is such a small area. It uh, doesn't take much. You could do this on um, journaling cards, anything. I don't think I'm forgetting anything on here. No, I don't think so. I don't think I'm forgetting to do anything. Yeah, there's just that tissue paper. You can use napkins. You can use tissue paper. You can use newspaper, scrapbook paper, anything, anything just to create some texture. <clears throat> and, but if you're gonna go too heavy on texture, you definitely wanna use a uh, matte medium to stick it on because yeah, Mod Podge isn't that great. That one's probably gonna leave a pocket right in there if I don't get some glue in that spot. There we go, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Another little bit of cardboard down here to kind of find the balance. Shred a little more of that off of there. Because that's what we did. I think I'll leave this. I wonder if that, does that kind of stay in frame? Let me look. Not really. Not really. Let me, um, like that. Does that. That's a little bit better. So you can kind of see what we're trying to go for here. There we go. Let's stick. Yeah. So yeah, what was I saying about earlier? So yeah, my weekends are weird. I don't, it's hard to um, think of the weekends as weekends anymore. So strange, so strange. I'm excited. He's gonna, he will be retiring soon. So I don't know. I, I hope he's gonna retire soon. He can never make up his mind, but it seems like he can't just, he just can't let it go. Okay, that's a little shallow right there, so it doesn't really matter because we're gonna fill that in with um, texture paste. Yeah, so, okay. So what I'm gonna do now, wait, let me finish getting this guy down and then I'll lift it up and show you. So there it is, just, uh, you know, I, uh, a kindergarten mass, <laughs> I call it kindergarten mass. This is what we do. And so I just kind of press it down a little bit with my fingers because I don't want it too fat. You can use a tool, you can use a spatula, um, uh, not a spatula, what do you call that thing? Yeah, a spatula. Um, yeah, you can use anything. And then just kind of fuss with the paper a little bit get it to be where you want it. It's gonna to wanna to cup and warp and do things as you dry it, um, but then you can come back and kind of flatten it out again. So what I'm gonna do is dry this. So I'll be pausing the video for a second and I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, there we go. I got that. I think that's pretty well glued down. Um, you can see it's kind of warped. It has a lot of 
fun texture. There's even some little gaps underneath a cardboard, which is fine because we're going to use a texture paste on that as as well as the, um, uh, yeah, the texture paste as well as a crackle paste. So we just get all that fun, see how it is on this fun textures in there. And as I was drawing this, this it was wet with, uh, very wet with the um, Mod Podge which I need to put this aside here, over here. Man, what a mess, I have a mess. Anyway, um, yeah, so you can kind of flatten it out because it has a lot of water in it and we will be adding water to this as well as we begin to blend the colors and things. Um, so, but it's the modeling, the flexible modeling paste. So there it is, it looks like that and we are actually, I need to get another, I need to get another little tray. Darn it, hang on. Okay, there we go, <laughs> clean jar. I actually washed off my hands, sorry. Like I said, messy crafter. And you know, we get distracted and there's things hanging off our hands and it looks so funny. And anyway, <laughs> you have to let me know. Let me know, I can hear you talking to me. So this is, um, these are just um, the negatives from my die cut for these flowers. And I should have got the die cut or leaves. I should have got the die cut out so you could see which one it was. I will try and put that in the description box so that you know what that is. And I'm just gonna goober some of this out of here so I can close the lid because the sun is shining in here. It's a glorious day out. Glorious, and I don't want that to dry up. No matter, no matter what the bargain was, don't want to replace it. So, I'm gonna try, let's see, I'll get that one. Let's try this one first. So all you do, and, and this is cool, you can use any stencil. I just happen to have these, and I, I like the idea of the, um, um, that one's not working very well because I have so much texture. Um, I like the idea of the kind of botanical in the background. This seemed kind of organic to me. So that's that's why that's like that. That's why I chose to do that. And some of these are just really <clears throat> very organic. Oh, that's kind of kind of big. Oops, kind of big there. There you go. And I just used a, used a file folder um, when I um, cut these out. I need to use a, a smaller one than this would probably make a little more sense, but um, you know, just cut out a piece like I have. I've done that before, but there, that, like that. This one seems a little thick to me right here, but it's all right. It all works out. Let's just do a fern here. You just end up with a very little or a very subtle impression of these anyway um, because you have all the other texture here on top of this so there we go that should be enough and even though those are munched like that it's 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 totally fine yeah it's totally fine oh so, okay so that's pretty good I'm going to dry this. I'm going to dry this or, um, and I will pause so that you don't have to hear that. I'll put this, some of this, um, modeling paste away and be right back. Okay. Here I am back again. This is all dry and I did wash up my tools and I wanted to mention that you probably know this, but I, I think, um, you know, due diligence and all that stuff with texture paste and matte, uh, matte mediums and grits and all of that. Make sure to wipe off your tools and your stencils because it will stick to them. And please don't wash them down your drain um, because you will clog your drains with that stuff. So try and wipe everything off really well. You can use baby wipes and paper towels and whatever you have um, and just get that into the garbage. Mm, excuse me. I want to put um, some gesso on here so that it's all kind of sealed kind of a little bit sealed and um yeah and then it, it's pretty even for 
primarily so that when we put the dies on that they will kind of flow evenly even though we're wanting this to be pretty funky and fun i still want to um want it to be pretty even so i that's that's a good way of kind of getting it all kind of kind of kind of the same so i will do that Okay, so we got some gesso on there. We have it nice and dry, and um, it's looking pretty good. Actually, that's not quite dry. I probably should do a little more drying on there. I got a little carried away, um, but I will do a little bit more drying on there, and it's fine. It doesn't, I know, maybe on the camera, you don't maybe see these raised, um, floral bits very well but they are there i promise you they are there and they will once we do you know the next layer you'll see you'll see as we begin to layer i shouldn't say next layer but as we begin to layer you'll really see those begin to just pop out and not just look like part of the background so um yeah so let's do that i'll put this away yes that's a good idea. Get this all put away and then we'll get out some more things. I did also want to show you though, I got this out. You can get, this is kind of a sweet little, if you want to try these things, these are the um, Tim Holtz Ranger Distress 3-pack and it's the Texture Paste Crackle, the Texture Paste Matte, and then the grit paste, which we did not use on here and, and will not. We'll use the crackle. Uh, and the reason I don't want to use the texture is, uh, or the, um, not what they call it, the grit. grit. <laughs> the grit is because I just want this to be fairly smooth. And that's part of the reason why, you know, I mushed this down um, when we were gluing it so that it, it still had kind of a, you know, it wasn't going to catch on things. It wasn't going to be too, too bulky. I mean, it's already fairly bulky, but not, not too much. So there we go. That's that. I will get the inks out and we'll go from there. Hang on. <laughs> I do that a lot. Hang on. Sorry. I don't, I guess I don't have to say I'm going to, um, stop and do something because you would not know. You just, you wouldn't know. I mean, you would kind of know that there was a little blip in the um, video, but you really wouldn't know that I went off to do something else. So anyway, so let me show you this. Obviously my hands are dirty again. We talked about the distress paste. We talked about cleaning your tools and your stencils. I thought that was pretty important. Um, I did want to also, bring these and these are the die cuts the thinlets um and this one is the sisix um six six one five nine seven and it has more of the winter style on it and then this one is I don't, do they have names on them i don't know if they have names on them it's the six six one two zero six no don't see it Okay, so then now, then now, um, we have these, which are just a variety. I, I like I told you in the other video, like I explained, um, that I have the Pixis. These were just really inexpensive comparatively on Amazon, and so I, I got them to try them. Then I have a few alcohol inks of the Tim Holtz, which just are amazing they're just amazing i also have these are the dye um daubers which we talked about the paint dauber yesterday and i that one obviously i looked it up those are discontinued i saw several of the ones with the you know the acrylic paint daubers on ebay but in colors that i probably wouldn't be interested in um so there's that but these are the um, concentrated dyes. I mean, they're just like ink, uh, ink really super concentrated. So you can use anything that you have, whatever colors you love. I only have two, I actually have three of the dis Distress Brays. One of them is actually in, it's a red and one's a blue. And then there's this Bundled Sage. So um, that, this is an old, no, it says Heidi Swap. 
I don't remember where I got this one, but I did mix some other things in it. It's a spray and it's not the citron color. It's uh, a little different than that, a little different. So there's that. Then I also have some stamps out that we will use also. This is one of my favorites. Um, it's a Tim Holtz. Um, obviously this is another one of my favorites, which you really can't see. It is not, but it's just the words. I thought I would do some words, which I also did on here. It's difficult to see unless you're right, right, right next to it. But there are some words that bleed through in this. I covered up so much with the embellishments that you don't really see the words on here. I'm looking on here to see if I can see, but I don't see. I don't see right here, right in front of my face. So we'll leave. Oh, and I also have some gilding wax in the gold. Very bright gold. Very bright gold because that's just the warm colors we're going for. Anyway, there is all of that. So let's give this a try. I think we're dry enough and we'll just give this a try. I'm laughing so much because here we are ready to play. Are you ready for it? We're probably, I don't know, 30 minutes into this simple tutorial, something that would take like 15 minutes. Um, <laughs> is uh, Yeah, it's long, <laughs> silly. But anyway, here we go. I am excited to give it a try. So the cool thing about these dies is that, you know, start excuse me, start light and then move your way up to the darker colors. And um, you'll see on here, this is pretty much the cardboard in the background because this one I did not put um, a gesso over the top of it. So there are some darker colors, but you can achieve that with your darker dyes, including, you know, use what you have. Don't, don't rush out and buy anything because you really don't you know, if you're a crafter, you have some things around. I mean, you can use your um, full-on, you know, re-inkers in different colors for different things. You can use oxides, which actually I think I will use probably um, mustard seed and maybe, maybe crushed olive as well. And... <clears throat> With these, you just want to be careful that things are dry and that you wipe you, these off when you're done with them because, um, and use them preferably, um, you know, t together, like use the oxides with the oxides and the inks with the inks and until they're dry. So um, usually the ink pads, I'm talking in the pads, not necessarily the paints or sprays, but in the pads because you can stain your ink pad with the darker colors and the oxide. So um, yeah, you don't wanna do that. And you don't wanna get the oxides on the um, ink pads because then it'll, yeah, you just, yeah, anyway. So you can just use a brush, just use a brush on that and wipe it off and whatever, or scrape it over the top when it's dry. So this is that. So here we go, let's give it a try. Let's start with this wild honey. I do not remember what color it is, but we'll find out. And this is the dauber. And look, see, see how I am? There's there's something on there because I just daubed it on. But look at that cool color. Look at that. It looks kind of greenish. So I'm just gonna try and get pretty yellow. It's showing pretty yellow right now, but it's really more of an orangey color. See, it's starting to get a little more orange on there. Oh, well, for heaven's sakes, that's what I forgot. I forgot the crackle paste, but we will put the crackle paste on. That's no big deal. It'll crackle up. It'll crackle up. It cracks up. <laughs> oh gosh, I need to get a life. I seriously need to get a life. Okay, so that's pretty bright yellow. So we know we can work with that. I'm just gonna layer some things on here so you can see it, and then we'll go back and refine it because I will um, throw some crackle paste on there too. So this one is forest moss. See, that's that nice, deep, deep, dirty, muddy green. Let's touch that around there. Throw it around. Let me get a brush too, actually. Yeah, this is just any old brush. Nothing fancy, nothing good. See that? Fun, huh? Looks like a mess. Looks like a mess, but it's really not too bad. Not too bad. I go, see, look at the depth in that. Really cool depth. 
in that right here. So I'm going to stop with this and put a little bit of the crackle paste on. Like, uh, which one is it? There's my crackle. Let's try this a little bit. Gosh, I don't want to get my dryer out again, but I probably should, huh? Let me get my heat gun out. And I can just mute. I think I can. I don't know if I can mute with my editor, my editing app. I would just have to cut it out. So I'm going to pause it. This is a bit easier. This is okay. easier. So there's going to be a lot of drying in between just so that you don't um, contaminate your different um, inks and pads and that sort of thing. So um, just, just be aware of that. So all I'm going to do with this crackle paste, I'm going to put my brush right directly in the little, in the cap, get a little scoop out of here. It does not take much. That's what's so, so super cool about this stuff is you can just put on a very thin layer and get the crackle, or you can put a really thick layer on. And I'm just gonna go for a thin layer over this. Get us some, get us some cool crackle going on. And, you know, like I said before, the thicker you put it on, the um, deeper the crack is and crackling, the thinner, the finer. So um, some areas I want kind of thick and other areas I just want kind of thin. It doesn't need much. If you want the whole thing crackled, just brush the whole thing with crackle. Just the whole, whole shoot and match here. Whole shoot and match, that'll do it. But I don't, I don't really want that. So it's kind of bad of me to just use my, um, use my cap, but here. Let's wipe my cap out. Put my cap back on and we're all good. I I have to get more than <laughs> running a little low. Okay, so I get all off my brush. Wipe my brush. Whoop. Throwing stuff around. Throwing stuff around. Oh, Tycoon's dreaming over there. I don't know where Ozzy is. He must still be out in the sun. And Miggy's over. Of course. Miss Miggy is on the couch because she's a princess and that's where that's where she belongs. Yeah, I need to spam you with them. Let's try this. Oh, wait, it needs to crackle. <laughs> I'll use my finger a little bit. You can also apply this with a finger. You don't have to apply it with a brush. That's why that's why God gave us hands so we can just get in and get in that dirty, fun stuff. Okay, I'm gonna dry again. Um, so we can get that crackle. Okay, so it crackled very nicely. I like the way it crackled. I like the way, you know, it'll continue to crackle as we go along. So let's, um, let's try some things. I wanted to try this just for kicks. It's really more of a top color and I'm hoping this doesn't spray everywhere, but there, there we go. Look at that, how fun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, so pretty. Just move it around. I'll put a little bit more up here. I should get my homemade slot, slot box out. Um, oh, that's fun, huh? That's really fun. Really, really fun. I'm gonna try to, I have, let's do this one because this is darker, this oregano. Try oregano, a little bit darker. This is an alcohol spray um, that I just made myself with a, a variety of colors, some reds and um, uh, greens, Look at that deep oregano. So cool. It's gonna bring in the darker spots. See how it's kind of really starting to come together. Now you can, so it's you don't ha it doesn't have to be this thick. You can spray this with alcohol. Give it a spritz with alcohol to get it a little bit thinner, or you can use your brush. Um, Anybody just don't yeah just use not a good brush. I guess I should say some people have really nice brushes. Look how that crackle is starting to come through. It seeped in there and it's coming through and it's super fun. I I like it anyway. I like it. I like it a lot. So, 
So I have some pretty distinct areas. So now I'm gonna just kind of mush it around like this, kind of mush it around like that. Those are definite drops right there. This seems to be taking it, even though it's sealed, taking it in pretty tight blobs. Different, different material, very much more porous than, um, than the other. So but that's cool. It's still cool. Still very, very good. A little more of this on here. Kind of blend in those splats. I want those splats to blend in. There we go. There we go. And it's looking pretty dark, but it won't be. We'll add the yellows and also some red and oranges, and it's going to be amazing. I like that this has a little bit of shimmer on it. I don't have that on that one, so I will probably brush just for kicks. Let's brush a little bit of this on here so that it matches a bit. We have a little matchy-matchy. Steal a little bit from there. No big deal. I don't want to spray it on here. Um, there's no reason to, but that'll give that a little, pick up some of that gold that's in this spray. Easy peasy. Look at that. I need to get a little shadow behind him, but this is not the right color to get shadow between. Sweet little dog. What what do you think we should call the dog? I think this dog should have a name. Hmm. There. I don't know if you can tell, but that gave that a little bit of shimmer. I wonder what we could call this. Whoops. Stay up there. Stay there. Oh, I can't call that dog. I come up with something. Come up with something. Oh my goodness, fun, fun, fun. All right. Yeah, then we'll come in with a little bit darker. It's getting pretty green. I'm gonna give it a dry here. Oh my gosh, it's really starting to get a little more crackle and more depth. I still am not completely loving these dots that really soaked in right there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me think. I think maybe, whoops. Let me try a little bit of this. These darn things are hard to open. I don't know if you guys have trouble with them, but I have a lot of trouble with them. Let's, let's try a little bit of yellow and, um, whoops, and see if I can get those guys to kind of blend in a little bit more. Not so much, I guess I need more yellow than that, huh? How about a little red? Try a little red, a little brown. Tiny, 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 tiny. Come on, all right. Ah, ooh. This is mum. It's a super rich color, super rich, but Gonna help blend some of this depth in here. Let's throw a little bit over here, a little bit over here. I know you're like, oh my god, it's so dark. It's really not. And then we'll blot it off a little bit. There we go. All right, that's cool. So I'm gonna throw in a little bit of this. And this is just a vintage photo. And I'm gonna spray a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water. Water, water. I don't want to spray it on the other one. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That red is really dark. Oh, but look at how beautiful is that. That red and that vintage photo together, very cool. Very, very, very cool. Let's pull a little bit off, a little bit, kind of. Yeah, there we go. A little bit off of there. Having fun learning with me, huh? Making a mess. So because um, I have so much speckle, um, or not speckle, um, gesso and 
um, spackle on here that, um, I'm gonna run some of this off. It just got pretty dark, pretty dark. Um, it's, it's wanting to resist a little. No biggie, no biggie. It's all gonna be good, it's all good. Watching that run around. Let me spray this a little bit. There we go. Fun. Good. I'm glad we got this darker in here. I really wanted some of these deeper areas to get this darker color and not really like blob, blob, blob. Yeah, this is good. Good. I'm gonna go around the edges. There we go. Send that out of here. So, yeah, this is what's fun about it is you can change it up. And you don't like it, just try something else on top. Just try something else. This is what I was talking about. Like you learn mistakes from me. Yeah, you definitely do. You're going to learn that. Not that this is a mistake. I think with these, you just can't go wrong. You really can't. You can, um, I mean, what are we into this? Paper, it's just paper. It's just paper. Okay, so, so I kind of laid them together um, after I dried that. I have a little, one of the little smudgy things on my finger. Um, and I see that the, I want this to be just a little more green and then the black on the edges and then um, splatter some of this black and some stamping and I think we have it. So, um, but I just wanted you to see how that compares.
Okay, there we go. I think we just about have it. Um, this, I got this pretty dry, cleared off a few things. I don't know why I have that there, but um, cleared a few things off. And I think the next step, because I think this is working pretty well, is um, to get some uh, gilding wax on here. Just on this, I can touch up some edges around this too, because I have, I have the um, <clears throat> the other sheet underneath here, and then I think if we tear this edge right along here, it's gonna blend nicely because that straight edge looks really weird to me. But um, yeah, I think that will work. So if we do a little um, gold on here and then do some black splatters and maybe some white splatters, I think we have it. And then I'm going to stitch it together and we'll take a look at it and see what we've... We
Okay, we did it. Check this out. Um, if I hold it up here a little bit closer, you can get it, see the textures and see the speckle um, and see all the cool, yeah, I think this works really well, being able to get a little bit closer and seeing what we actually did <clears throat> after that long drawn out <laughs> tutorial. And I kind of got a little bend here for the spine. And so let's see, you see this edge actually looks pretty good. There's, uh, I got a little carried away with the gold here, but we can fix that. And um, yeah, I think it looks pretty okay. I'm just not sure if I'm going to keep it in this form or if I'm going to separate it and um, yeah, and to do something different on the spine. I just like the the strength of it, but it's it's pretty it's pretty intense, isn't it? I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think that'd make a good book? The thing is, is that I would be using legal size, so it would be bigger paper, which is totally fine. <clears throat> okay, well, a little bit of a change plan here. <laughs> um, thank you for hanging out with me through the whole tutorial. I just really wanted to kind of recap a little bit at the end of this. And if you made it through that whole tutorial to this, you are even more amazing now than you were before because that's pretty incredible. <laughs> pretty incredible. So yeah, I was really struggling at the end of that what to do with this. I mean, it was kind of cool. It was kind of but a little over the top. So I just went a little even further over the top. Let me know what you think. I, um, <laughs> and in the next video, we'll talk more about this. Um, it's still very much the same. Nothing is glued down here. I just kind of laid it out a little bit and put some clamps on. And so things are kind of hanging off of it as I lift it up. Um, but here's the spine, sort of. It's the same spine, but it just has some, um, oh gosh, some muslin type material, some cotton material, some lace, and um, some really pretty um, fun interior stuff going on. So that's that. And you are amazing, like I said. And I want to thank you for hanging with me. I want to thank you for subscribing. I want to thank you for just being you and being amazing. Um, God bless you. Go out there and create and have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.